if I started eating somebody up and then it all clicked in my mind real quick. Parthiogenesis is the story of Genesis. Literally, they are literally telling you the story of how the E gene mutated and was creating children, self ether, nine ether beings through the process of parthiogenesis really look at genesis god created these things no they literally told you the cycles of getting implanted and literally creating a child inside of her body i can't do it today think about it the seventh day the sabbath day they are talking about a menstrual cycle they're literally talking about from ovulation, the sun, the circling, the going around. That's a full circle of ovulation. And then if you think about it, all the calendars and the 28 days that connect to our cycles, 13 freaking spots on a turtle. The Bible is literally a story about women going through parthogenesis and what they did and how they sacrificed the sons and the daughters, which is how they put the bronze feet on the cross. The cross, Jesus wasn't one person or even a man at that. And then they tell you a story about the Garden of Eden, and then you realize that Antarctica is the Garden of Eden. It's the actual Garden of Eden where two-thirds of the water is, and it's literally a rainforest. But then why would they try to give us the Amazon rainforest our entire life and look in the total opposite direction? Because they were trying to make us look at, they were telling the story about the Amazon women, about the women who were going through parthiogenesis, which is the true story of the Eve gene. And everything they tell you in a Bible is the story about how they literally went and they pillaged things. I'm sorry, God doesn't like murder, but he had a guy murder proved his loyalty to him like your god is already tainted your god was already a sinful god so we can't pretend that the book was written by a good person but then if you know like i know when the book was revised by king james the demonology king in 1881 30,000 times it literally was a story recreated to continue the journey they removed so many crystals and things and why now i understand why 69.9 percently more likely to die in childbirth I'm going to say it sound weird. If black women are able to capable, literally tap into their penile gland, the crystal drip every month and charge themselves with crystals and gems and everything they mark taboo, we'll be able to heal ourselves. I'll say it out loud. Parthiogenesis is real. Stingrays and sharks do it. If bells are capable of healing an entire town from one ring and energy, literally, they Tesla. Tesla told you energy can be transferred through the air. So if you can hone that energy and charge melanin, what can melanin actually do? Oh my gosh, I gotta go, Tiki. But yeah, you can't argue with me today. Parthiogenesis is literally the story of Genesis. It's in the freaking name. Mary didn't have a little lamb. That's where the tainting come in. That's where Ball's story begins with Mary. The Virgin Mary, the sacrificing. If you were sacrificing black women who go through parthiogenesis, you were sacrificing 